Hey you guys, welcome back to Eat, Move, Rest. Erin and Dusty and Mr. Max here. Merry Christmas, happy holidays. We hope that it's been a year that has ended on a positive note for you guys. Yes. It definitely has for us. So this year has been a doozy for sure, not just for us, but for the whole world. I think we're all aware of that. If you guys have been following and saw one of our most recent videos about our trip home from California, almost ending like our lives, not just ending badly, but possibly ending our lives, we're just grateful to be home for the holidays. Like Dusty said, this year has been rough for all of us in more ways than one. Yep. We started out with a bang with our Costa Rica retreat. Yep. It was amazing. We came home to COVID and quarantine. Yep. Little did we know it would draw out for quite some time. Oh man. Made it to California on our road trip anyways and almost didn't make it back home safely, but yep. we're super grateful just to be here with family and friends for the holidays. Yep in our nest yep. because <laughs> we've got a super exciting surprise <laughs> so max here is going to be a, a big, big brother, brother. <laughs> So he celebrated Aaron's birthday and his birthday kind of jointly this uh, last weekend with just our parents and uh, Aaron's grandparents who we spend most of our time with. We're all very close and we made the big announcement. Happy birthday to you, Max. Oh no. Oh, what? What did you say? What? What? Oh. <laughs> So right now I am at about 13 weeks. So yeah. pretty much all the way through first trimester. I found out when we were in California actually. Yeah. And it's funny because with Max, we had been traveling a lot too. So we were in Hawaii in my first trimester and I felt horrible the whole time. And I kind of have bad vibes now, even though like this, we have this dream about living in Hawaii. Like yeah. I just kind of have bad vibes. Yep. Unfortunately, the same kind of deal happened in California. Yep. So <laughs> I'm like living my best life in Hawaii. I'm like swimming daily, like getting my, my tan on, eating tropical fruit. And Aaron is just miserable. Fast forward about two and a half years, <laughs> now to California, same thing. I'm living my best life, jogging on the beach in California, soaking up the sun. Max and I are just having a blast. And mom <laughs> is stuck in the house for however many weeks we were there, feeling miserable. So we're home and we're happy right. to be here. Yes, we're super excited. So our due date is in early July, as in like somewhere between July 1 and July 4th. So yep. another major holiday baby. <laughs> Max turned two on the 23rd yep. and he was an amazing, exciting Christmas surprise. So now we're excited for, yep. as Dusty said, Christmas in July. <laughs> <laughs> right, so our poor second born is going to have to share their birthday with Independence Day here in the States. <laughs> And you know, it's all good. We might as well just throw big parties like we have. Yeah, I've months. always told Dusty, like Christmas time and 4th of July are like the two most exciting times of the year. Yep. Now they're gonna be even more exciting yep. um, for years to come. So we're super excited and grateful that we're safe because 
the accident that we were in could have, you know, taken even one more tiny life. So right. we're very, very grateful that everything has gone smoothly and that we went and got an ultrasound when we got home just to make sure everything was okay. So yeah. feeling good, feeling confident. I feel like everybody's probably looking at my belly too. <laughs> I'm not really showing, but if I stood up, can they still see it? I don't know, maybe, yeah. Possibly. There might be a little bit, but... It's probably more of a food baby. Yeah, it's <laughs> definitely breakfast food baby. Yeah. But I don't feel like I'm showing yet, but everybody says you pop a lot sooner for your second, third, and so on. So yeah. we'll see. So let's rewind back to the road trip again. You know, you guys watched the video from probably a few weeks ago of our road trip. Just having a blast. Like this has been a dream of mine for years. Oh wow, what'd you find? Here, come sit. And so we're just, again, having a blast road tripping out west. And Aaron is kind of not feeling great. And so we get to California and she's not just not feeling great, she's like feeling pretty lousy. Feeling very homesick and just not feeling well. And I'm of course bummed about it because I wanted to be out and about together doing things and she just wasn't up for it. Yeah, so if you guys have followed along, you know how social media goes. Everything looks like it's just sunshine and rainbows. Perfect. Yep. Life is perfect. We're in <laughs> California. What could possibly be wrong? Yep. But actually, I was not feeling like myself at all. So I had no idea at this point. But when we first got there, I was just kind of like feeling super bummed out yep. and just kind of empty. I'm like, I don't feel like excited about being here. Yep. And it was maybe like a week or two later that on top of that, I started to feel really nauseous. No, nothing sounded good, especially not a green salad or a green smoothie. I knew that could only mean one thing, so we went and got a handful of pregnancy tests because with Max, I literally took four or five before I actually believed it. Yep. So this time I took a pregnancy test and nothing was really showing. And then the line was ever so faint that yep. I'm like, well, of course I'm in the gray zone. I have no idea. So I had Dusty Google it. Like, what does it mean if you can kind of see the line, but not really? Yep. And it's like, you're pregnant. Like, <laughs> if there's, no. If, no doubt about it. If there's any sort of line on this particular test, it means you're probably pregnant. And so I needed the further reassurance. Yep. So we bought a different brand that actually spells it out. And just yes, says pregnant. Yes or no. Yep. <laughs> it said, you're pregnant. Yep. But I was excited, so like Erin, fr frankly, freaked out when she found out she was pregnant with Max. We were kind of like, not that we weren't excited, but we were definitely like, oh my gosh, this is a surprise. Are and we, we ready for aren't this? sure if we're ready to have kids. At this point, we're like, I remember sitting there on the couch and being like, this is a good thing, like this is exciting. And we were just calm and like cool and you know, it was good this time, better than with finding out about Max. Yeah, so for me, yeah, same thing. I felt more calm, more excited because of course we want Max to have a sibling. It's yep. just exciting. So after the pregnancy tests, the third or the fourth one kind of confirmed things for us. We set up an ultrasound. Of course, uh, this was back in Santa Barbara. Of course, Max and I could not come in. So we went for a walk and kind of had a good time while Erin was finding out for sure what her due date was and that was kind of fun. Good morning, you guys. It is another beautiful day here in sunny Southern California. Max and I are hanging out in the park right now because mom is getting an ultrasound done. We couldn't go inside, obviously, due to COVID. So Erin is up there by herself, but we're like 99% sure that she's pregnant, which is, again, kind of a shock and a surprise, but obviously very exciting because that means Maxi is gonna be a brother. Do you know that you're gonna be a brother? He's like, I don't know what that means. Leave me alone. But yeah, so anyway, we're excited. Um, I wish I was up there with Aaron to see. I'm guessing we'll probably wait and find out the uh, gender of the little one again just hoping that everyone is healthy and happy mixed emotions here again with you know covid and this whole situation i know aaron's a little bit anxious and nervous about having a baby during this time but this is life you know we got to just keep living our lives and doing our thing and we've always wanted to have at least 
two kids and uh, Maxie was a surprise and this little one is another surprise but they're the best surprises. So anyway, super excited, looking forward to having her come down and show us what she finds. It's very beautiful, strong heartbeat. We call it, it's like gummy bear stage. <laughs> okay. So my biggest fear when I first found out was Max not being my baby anymore and how he would react to a new little tiny baby coming into the family. So it got me super emotional. I was like a puddle of tears anytime Max was napping. I just wanted to sit there and hold him so tight. Any other parents out there who have had multiple children, kind of share with us in the comments how it has worked out, how you have introduced the idea and the concept of a new child, a new sibling. We've kind of tried to talk to Max about it a little bit. Dusty told Max at the park the other day when we were in California, he's gonna be a big brother and he kind of seemed to get it. And then I did the same with him, trying to talk to him about the baby being in my belly. And I asked him if he was excited to be a big brother and he kind of did one of these. And I asked him if he wanted a brother or a sister and he did one of these. And it seemed to me like it was just like a super sweet, intimate moment where he was truly focused and listening to me and whether he actually knew what I was talking about or not, it just felt like he somehow knew. So I'm hopeful that it'll be a positive experience and I'm just excited for him to have a playmate. But if you guys have tips for how to handle the whole situation, definitely let us know because we can use all the help we can get. Max and I are having tons of fun playing with, playing with trucks and playing outside and part of me is kind of pulling for a boy. We were convinced that Max was a girl and I was super excited to be a girl dad. So anyway, we're not sure. We probably won't find out, but we're excited either way, aren't we? So the pregnancy definitely added sort of a level of complexity to the accident and has since had another ultrasound and the baby is healthy and good. And again, you're almost all the way through first trimester, which is good news. Yeah, so baby is Bigger than a strawberry by now. I think strawberry was the size last week. So. Yeah. You Got know, fingers and toes and fingernails growing and all, all that stuff already. The miracle of life, it's just insane. I remember finding out about this little boy and now he is not so little and it's just crazy. And you know, Aaron and I have noticed in our lives, looking back at our wedding, you know, we had um, both of our brothers at the time were struggling with addiction and we weren't sure how that was gonna play out, um, but we had the hope and the excitement of our wedding that kind of was able to bring us together and our families together. And you know, this year during COVID and ending the year with our accident and now the pregnancy, it just seems to me like there's this pattern of when all seems lost and hopeless, there's like a glimmer of light. There's always like someone, you know, Aaron and I would, say it's God that's working behind the scenes to provide some hope and some goodness and some joy. Mm -hmm. And you know, I guess even this it's being just Christmas. It's like the yin and the yang symbol, yeah. or you know, light and dark, good and bad. Yeah. Um, there's always both. Yeah. The, it's like the equal, the balance of opposites. And yeah. it's just where are you choosing to direct your focus? Yeah, you know, I get hard on myself when I'm feeling like I'm not being my best version. And the truth is, like Aaron just said, there's always a balance uh, of everything. And so I'm learning to just forgive myself and forgive life for being hard sometimes and just recognizing that if I can stay more neutral and be in the middle, I can actually find the good and the bad existing all at the same time. And it frees me from anxiety and depression and all these things. Um, if we can zoom out and focus on really being able to see both and this again for us the pregnancy and the accident I feel like it's just a reminder to say Not all is lost. Not all is bad. There's always some good. There's always some hope and so it's exciting for us and hopefully exciting for you guys our followers who have come to know us and Yeah, yeah so going into the new year, 2021, I know we all have high expectations and high hopes for it to be better than 2020. Yep. It will be difficult for it to not be. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, if things get crazier, it, it's, it's all up to you know, your perspective and where you're choosing to put your attention. 
if there are things on social media dragging you down, you don't have to allow them into your life. Yeah. You know, there's always a way around them. Um, so I think 2021 can be better yeah. regardless if you choose to let it be. Yeah. So yeah. I think we all need to just focus on the light, the brightness, um, and just do your best to take care of yourself. Invest in yourself because it's not selfish at all, like right. I just said in my last video. Yeah. So take care of yourself and it's certainly going to be a better year if, if you're able to at least accomplish that much. Totally. We hope you guys have a very Merry Christmas, Happy Holiday Season, Happy New Year. So for the sake of keeping this video short and sweet, <laughs> and fun for all of you on this holiday weekend. I'll probably make a separate video going into more detail about symptoms I've had, what has been different between now versus when I was pregnant with Max, what it's like being pregnant with a toddler and having morning sickness. There's a whole bag to unpack full yeah. of stuff. So I'll take you guys through what I eat in a day, how my second vegan pregnancy is going. So stay tuned for that. With the new year, we want to come, we want to bring some new content. So obviously comment below. I've been hearing from more and more guys, more husbands who have gotten dragged into our channel from their wives, which is kind of exciting and more dads. So again, that's something that I want to be providing more value to our channel too from a guy's perspective, from a dad's perspective, and you know, Aaron too, obviously being pregnant now, if you guys would like to see pregnant workouts and all of that stuff. <laughs> How to raise a toddler, not that we know, we have no idea, but we're having fun. So anyway, comment, leave your recommendations and your requests below and we will do our best to deliver some fun <laughs> and helpful content in this new year. All right, you guys, you know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, and be sure to follow us on Instagram at Aaron Stanzik at DB Stanzik. Yep. We'll be sharing all the juicy in between date details of our <laughs> daily lives. Yes. And eat, move, rest your best going into the new year. We'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Peace. Can you wave? Say bye bye. <laughs> Say bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> We're Dusty, Aaron, Max, and Bo, and we're the Stanzix. We aspire to live a plant-centric, faith-forward, healthy lifestyle and welcome all of the adventures that accompany it. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our minds in between on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within.